Hello, the people of YouTube. It is me, Earl Storm, and as you can see, there's like a little thing in the corner here, and I'm going to tell you what we are going to be doing. We are doing a 10 subscriber special. Um, so basically what we're going to be doing is making us a um, new shirt. It is going to be the official Earl Storm uh, t-shirt. So this is the shirt, just blue because it's like the sky. Then what we're going to need is newspaper, like something like cardboard, and we are going to be needing these colors. Well, one of them um, you don't need. I don't need that color. Okay, so we're going to need silver, white, okay, these are the ones that you, okay, you, these are the ones that you will need, white, brown, and black. Then red and silver are optional. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys what each color is. Red is for the fire, for the arrows. The silver is for my name, Arrowstorm. Then the black is for the arrowhead. Brown is for the uh, stem. And then the white is for the feathers. Now, we might be doing a special feather. Um, maybe like a silver feather. A silver, um, maybe mixed with brown, I don't know. That's going to be for the official official arrow that makes peace in the arms. Anyway, um, we are going to get to this. So, what you want to do is um, get like paper or something that you don't really want and just spread it out on your table so this way you don't get um, like any paint on your table or your floor or whatever you're making. Okay, so that should be it. Okay. So then you want your cardboard thing, and then you want your shirt. Now, if you want to decorate the front of the shirt, you um, leave it like this. We're going to be decorating both sides, maybe. Um, if I can't fit all of the stuff that I want, we're going to be decorating both sides. Okay, so you want to like this. Um, with the cardboard. Um, where you want to, you know, uh, draw on. So, um, this is the space that we have to work with right now. So, first what we're going to be doing is we are going to be writing the name Aerostorm. So, you want to take your silver and open it. These are brand new bottles, so I think there's a, something attached to it or something. Yep, there's a stain down here. So you want to cut those off, um, so I'm going to go get scissors and I'll see you guys. Okay, so I got my silver open. Now, um, you're going to need a knife maybe. And by the way, this is Scribbles Pop Glue, uh, not glue, uh, paint. It's made for shirts. So you're going to have to want to take this and write the name of the object. So I'm just going to test this out over here real quick. Okay, so it looks pretty nice. Now, you want to do it very carefully and as straight as possible. So I'm going to just straight this out. There we go. Now I'm going to straight this out. Oops, my stand fell. There we go. So you guys can see it. I'm going to try to do it as straight as possible. This might take a little while, um, but we do have like 54 minutes, so. Eh. I just did the A right there, as you guys can see. I'm going to write arrow here, and then storm down here. Now, you can decide all caps or not all caps. For me, I don't know what I'm going to do. I kind of want to do all caps. Yeah. And then with your paint, you kind of want to, you know, if it gets messed up in a way, then you kind of just want to 
um, use the cap of it to like smooth it out. There they are. They are. I'm gonna write arrow and then I'll uh, show you guys how it turned out. Okay, but I'm just finishing up the W here. Arrow. Oh, jeez, it just got dark. And now it's turning light again. There we go. Arrow. And now, guys, I'm going to give you a high view of what it looks like. Okay. Like this. Arrow. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but hopefully you can. And this way. So hopefully you guys can see that. Oh no, you guys can't. There, arrow, like that. Might be backwards on your guys' camera, but I spelled it right. That. And it might look yellow on your guys' camera, but it's uh, silver over here. Okay, so let's just place it here. Okay. Now I'm going to write storm. Storm will be, um, I kind of, what I want to do is I want to make it like um, clouds like a big cloud around storm. So I'm gonna to try to write storm as small as possible. Well, not as small as possible, but you know, a good amount of size so this way I can make like a, a blackish cloud um, like this. So I can make a cloud around the storm. So I'm just gonna write storm real quick. Now I'm gonna be um, wearing this shirt in like my sports or my vlogs, even to school. I think I should. I don't know. So, and storm is gonna be lowercase, guys. So go ahead and do that if you guys are watching, and you guys have all the materials. Just go ahead and do this, and you guys could do whatever. You guys, um, channel you guys like. Um, but if you guys really like Aerostorm, then um, you guys could get the materials. Um, I'll tell you them at the end of the video. Hopefully, I remember. And there we go. I made Storm. And that is really it for the silver, unless we make a silver arrow. So put that back on. And now I gotta open up all the other colors, and this is gonna be a pain. All, all you gotta do is just go like this sometimes, and it'll just rip off like that. Just gotta keep on scraping it. Do it over your cardboard or your paper that's around you. This way you don't cut your shirt. It's a little hard to remove, but you know it's oh, it's worth it because if you guys don't have all these colors, then you guys can't really make it. So, well, I mean you can, but you really the main colors that you need is black, white, and uh, brown. Okay, I think this is enough. Okay, so now, I forgot, I was supposed to open white, what was it, and brown, whatever, whatever, I'll just open that up, and I'll see you guys when I'm actually done. Okay, I am glad I got this stuff off, oh my god guys, it took me forever to do um, be careful when you open this stuff because it's really hard to open. Uh, but after that, you know, just unscrew the top. But now for the cloud, the cloud of storm, arrow storm, the cloud. So what you want to do is get your white and just you know make like a little cloud shape, you know, 
do that. I guess make him look the best version of the cloud here. Hoping that it turns out nice. Yeah, it's turning out nice. Okay. Now that we've done that, you want to grab your black. And you want to kind of make it like um, like a little stormy cloud. Um, so you want to like add black to like the out the inside of it. Just like retrace it, but from like the inside. So you want to, to make that actually pretty big. Um, and you want to kind of like out trace it. Like this. And there. So this way it looks like a little stormy cloud. And then if you want, you could kind of like, I wouldn't color it in, to be honest. I think I, um, I like how it looks. Unless, like over here, I can kind of like make it look like there's a little bit of storm inside of it. And I could kind of like paint it like this. Yeah. I don't have a paintbrush though, so it's kind of hard to do. Oh no, I just ruined my silver. But, um, otherwise, it's actually looking pretty good. Pretty good. Um, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I am back. And, yeah, we could leave, like, a little bit, um, like, black in there to look like a star. Okay, so now we are going to get to the arrows, finally. So we finished our name. We're done with that. Now, you want to make an arrow here and here. So, we are going to take our um, black for the arrowhead. Well, first we want to... Oh no, I got white. Jeez, these things are so messy. And... Oh no, I forgot something in the other room. I'll see you guys. Okay, so I got what I needed. I needed... Um, one of my things from the other one. Okay, so you want to take your black and you want to make an arrow headed. So that's kind of like just, um, you know, like a regular arrow. Like this. Then, like this. So it's like a little point. Yeah, I'm going to move the camera closer for you guys. This way you guys can really see it. See all the action happening. Okay, so then you want to fill the in like that and just, you know, keep on filling it in until you have the right amount that you want. Now you don't want to make the layers too thick, you kind of want to like brush it. Once you have enough, um, it's going to be pretty easy to brush. Just like that. And then you want to Make this kind of flattish, like that. See, it's kind of like rounded, and it looks like an arrowhead, to be honest. Now we are going to take our brown and make the stem of it like this. And then you want to kind of make that like that, so this way it has some shape, like that. And then once again, fill it in. Now we're going to be filling in all of these. I should have enough color for all this. But um, the, air, the feathers are going to be really easy to brush in. Also the stem. The stem is going to be the easiest part to brush in. Then you want to make the feathers. Now make the feathers. I don't actually think we're going to brush in the feathers. Okay, so go like this. You want to connect it to the actual arrow. One. Like this. Like this. Okay, then just like brush it in. You know, the feathers aren't really going to be the bright side of this, but 
are gonna be good, hopefully. And you wanna make it like little spikes, kind of, like that. See, it looks like an arrow. Uh, I'm pretty proud of how that turned out. Now, for the fire. Careful with the red because um, for me, I don't know about you guys, but for me it like kind of bleeds a little bit. Um, pretty sure that was white, this was black, and this is red. Okay, so now the red. Try not to mess this up because the fire part is going to be a really cool part of the arrow. It's not really going to be a part of the arrow, but trust me, it's going to be cool. Then, you just put this over here and connect it to the arrow. Then you kind of want to just fill this in again. Try to make it look as fiery as possible, because if you actually have the black added to it, it kind of looks better a little bit. And as you guys can see, it looks like a fire arrow. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do the same thing on the side. Okay, so I'm almost done with the arrow. And let me tell you guys something. This took, you know, a little bit of time to actually sketch it out on paper. Because I've been wanting to do one of these for like fifth grade. Because I got my sh um, channel, I think, in fifth grade. So I've kind of been wanting to make a t shirt ever since the summer of 2016. And this one is also going to have fire, because I kind of like the fire effect. I like how it turned out. See, if I didn't like the fire effect, then I wouldn't have done it for all the arrows. But I like how it turned out over here. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to maybe add another five down here. So it'll look um, pretty cool. From up here, we might have clouds but on the bottom it'll look like fire so it's like i know you guys can't really see my face but so it's gonna like generate um arrows with the fire so i kind of want to do that then what we're going to be doing is down here i don't have any green so i think we're going to make more arrows down here because we are arrows so i think that's what we're going to do now the, the cloud this is all you need to do Take the, take the white. Now, I don't know if you guys could see this, but you guys kind of like, make like a tiny cloud. Like this. I'll show you guys after. You guys kind of want to make a tiny cloud. That looks like a cloud. Like that. See? that see and then you want to make on the bottom right. and then your black is going to uh, be mixed inside of it um, so it'll look even cooler it'll look like it, it's the actual arrow okay so you kind of want to clean off your um, paint head every so often so this way you don't have like the black and the white and like those stuff mixed because you want a nice solid color but I don't really care what you guys um, want you know I'm just doing this um, well I kinda I don't know I, I, I'm just doing this because you know I think it's really cool and um, I've been wanting to do this uh, story true, true fact Okay, so you might keep on getting your hands dirty. That's why you have this, like, newspaper that, that you can wipe your hands on. Um, then this, same thing. Same with the fire. This. Done. Done with the two clouds and the two sides. Um, so now what we're going to be doing is adding, I think, maybe we're going to be putting the legendary arrow right under 
the um, the storm cloud. So what we're going to be doing is a black arrowhead. Now since this is the legendary arrow, you want like a lot of people to look at that one arrow because it's the legendary arrow and it deserves respect. Okay, so that's basically what it's going to look like. That's basically how big it's going to be. And um, it's basically supposed to have a big point. Um, and then the fire will kind of go like nice fire like that like that see I think there's something going on outside of here, like a little horn. I don't know. So we'll just fill this in with red. And if you guys have a paintbrush, that'd be even better. So that you guys can kind of like paint this on. It's really good creating your own shirt. You don't want to go buy out your own shirt. There you go. And it's like a lava fire, sort of. I kind of like that. Like, or where the shirt is going. So then, just keep on doing this. Keep on brushing this down. And it's going to take estimate about one to two days to dry. But after that, you could wear it. That's why I'm doing this on a Friday and not on a Sunday. Because I want to wear it maybe on Monday if it's all dry. I'm going to record maybe on Saturday, maybe with it on. So, I never, you guys never know. So. Well, I, I do know, but you guys never know. So stay tuned to my channel for that. Because then you want a nice little stem. Because the feathers and the arrowhead, that's the main goal of this. It's a little arrow stem, so we might make it a little. No, we're not gonna make it bigger. So now we're going to need the silver for our feathers. Okay. Now we're gonna make it look more like a feather, but as of now, we just need to put it like. There we go. So it kind of looks like an arrow. Um, I like it. I like how it's turning out. Um, looks pretty nice. Um, this is like the god arrow. It's not a long arrow though. That's what makes it fast. These are just like arrow minions. This is the god of arrows. Then we are going to be doing, I think, another two arrows here. Then we could have an arrow going across. How would that look? I think that would look pretty cool. Okay, so now let's just make... I decided we'll do the arrow stem first. So this way we kind of know where to put everything. Because that's what I kind of do first on my pictures. I always do the arrow stem first.
Let's add it a little bit bigger. Make a little There we go. Arrowhead. This one, I don't know if we're going to make fire. Wait, I think we could. Okay. It's not that good of an arrow, but it's pretty good. Right now we're at 25 minutes, so we have two more arrows to do. I think, to be honest, the name took long. The longest. Out of all these arrows, I think the name took longest, but I don't know about that. Feathers. Get this off this little part over here. There we go. So it looks like a little arrow. Then let's add some red. Should be enough red. And the good part is I have all this to myself, so I could use as much paint as I want. Unless I want to make um, a, another shirt, then I gotta go buy some more materials. But, you know, I don't know if I will. I think I'm gonna stick with this until I outgrow it. Be maybe like next year or sometime. Remember, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, so that'd be pretty nice for me. Um, and I can make more specials. Not shirt special ones, because I already have a shirt. I don't know about pants. I don't think I'll do pants. Um, I don't know. I'll make some type of special. Not, you know, like clothing special. Dang it. Whatever. I'll just go wash that off. And these are washable off, like, Human clothes, uh, skin, not clothes, um, human skin, and maybe pet skin, I don't know, but um, skin, uh, at least I think so, should be. Okay, so it should take four hours to dry. Um, it could be washed after at 62, about a day and a half. That's it. It should. It should have written stuff, people. Okay, let's just I'm gonna brush this up over here. Like the feather design. And there we go. Another arrow is complete. And then, oh, we don't have blue. If we would have had blue, the dark blue, I could have made the raindrops. That would have been really cool. But I can add to the shirt if I get 15, no, 25 subscribers, I'm going to add to the shirt. Now, okay, so let's boost this up. Let's see. Is this bleeding through? No, it is not. That is perfect. Okay, so it shouldn't bleed through because there's the cardboard over here. So now let's move the cardboard down. Oh no. Oh no. The paint. I forgot about this. Okay, so this should be good right here. So we're going to add another arrow here and then, like, maybe. I don't know what we're going to do at the bottom, but we're going to add an, an approximate another three arrows. So we have five, six, seven, eight arrows, and then maybe a ninth arrow. Should I add ten arrows for ten subscribers? Okay. 
If we do four on this row, that'd be nine, and then one on the bottom. Unless we do two on the bottom. I think we'll do two on the bottom. Okay, so we don't want to make the arrows too big. Because we want the one on the bottom. The two on the bottom, actually. So we kind of want it to be thin and nice. These arrows are basically like arrow minions. Like the arrow ping. Okay, so we'll just look over here for now. Should we get like that? That's one arrowhead, and now for the second. So I'll make another video once I'm done with this. I'm going to make another video um, that shows what the shirt actually turned out like dry. It shouldn't like smudge when it gets drier. Now since these are more to the bottom, the feathers will be like less layered like if you want to call it layered like they would have less feathers like these have a lot of feathers this is a gold uh, silver feather now i don't have any gold so i can't really make a golden feather but if i did have gold i totally would because i would look totally cool um let's put this here another feather and put another feather see and we have the two feathers here. Three, four, five. That's five, ten subscribers. Now I know you guys can't really see my face, but you know, who cares? Because it's mainly about the shirt right now. Now let's add some paint down here. If you guys have a paintbrush, this would be way quicker and way easier to use because the paint would actually make it nice and spread out evenly and nicely, but what are you going to do if you don't? Like me, I, I don't think I have a paintbrush, and if I do, it's a very small paintbrush that I don't really want to um, you know, get dirty right now because, you know, we're almost done, so I'm not going to even bother. Oh, I forgot. These won't have the fire. These down here won't have the fire. These going across. They'll have it like this, the feathers. They'll have them pointed like a triangle. Nice feathers. I don't know, it just got black. There we go. And you could always wash your hands when you're done with this. Um, let's just work with this arrow right here. Because we'll actually move the cardboard. Move the shirt up and move the cardboard up. This is risky if you have, like, if you're using a really good shirt. Because say you mess it up, your really good shirt is all messed up. That'd be really bad, in my opinion. And if it's not bad to you, then you know, go ahead. Go ahead. Why not? Take the risk. Now I'm doing it on a brand new shirt that I've never used because it's like brand new right now. Okay, so let's move that. Um, the f the oh no, right there, it kind of folded a little bit, but I did. Some unnecessary folding. Oh no, over here too. Oh jeez. Um, it's not messed up because you could always take like a little napkin or something. Here, let me rub some paper. Just you know, clean that up.
You can always put water over it, and I think it'll um, erase. Well, you should really put a napkin too. How much time are we here? Let's see. 35 minutes? Mm -hmm. that's, that's enough. Because we're almost done with this. We just need this one arrow here and to finish this arrow down here. And we'll have 10 arrows for the 10 Arrow Storm subscriber special. I'm worried about this arrow over here, because it folded and it looks kind of messed up. I think we're done. Just add the fire. I think we're done. You don't want that much fire, you just want a little bit of fire. Okay, this arrow over here kind of looks messed up, so I just want to go over it. It's white. We'll blend a little bit, but who cares? And this over here, we'll just try to get that off. I, I did my best. Get it off. Okay, so I think we're done here. Um, and I guess, actually, we'll just put maybe the YouTube symbol over here as a cloud. Yeah, that would look really cool. That's our last edition. Putting the YouTube symbol over here that looks like a cloud. That's what we're going to be doing. There we go. Play button. Spread this out. Spread this out over here by the play. And it's going to be blue to make it look like the sky play button. Color the same. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's all the way down here. Oh, and maybe we could color in the play button instead of leaving it blue and possibly make it white. Now, over the shirt color, to be honest, that was really going towards the white, but I'm glad that we picked blue. So that's why the red kind of stands out. Just want this here. Should be enough. Fill this in. And once this goes in, we are complete. Now we are complete. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We have finished the t-shirt. Here is the overlook. Look at this. Just look at it. It's so beautiful. I like it. You see that? It's so nice.
I really do like that. I mean, um, it's kind of like wrinkled up, like the arrow storm part. So let's just fix that and see the camera view again. Look at that. Wow, that looks very nice. And it's going to dry and I'm going to wear this sometime. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to all the spookies. 40 minutes. 10 subscribers. Thank you very much for those who have subscribed. Peace out. Woo!